Hello, I'm Ryu, and this is EYHK presenting how Korea has been dealing with ongoing issues such as global warming and strict social distancing rules in an innovative interdisciplinary manner. I will be presenting in the first half of the section, and then I will toss the mic to Taekyung. First, we identified one of the biggest threats in 2022 to be none other than climate change. According to the WMO State of the Global Climate 2021 report, the globe has been the warmest for the past seven years. The threats are palpable as beach resorts known, known for their high-end lifestyles, such as Ball Harbor, Florida, are facing difficulty with low demand in the market due to rising sea levels. However, this issue is much bigger than a real estate crisis and requires a greater scope of perspective. Because unlike us humans, nature knows no border. And Korea is no exception. There has been an abnormal change in weather, and one of the most noticeable examples include the unexpected cold waves that damaged the lettuce farms, eventually resulting in a crop failure last year. McDonald's and Subway in Korea were forced to announce that they will be either reducing or excluding lettuce in their menus until the imbalance between supply and demand was resolved. So how are we trying to build a sustainable environment in Korea? Although a matter as heavy as climate change cannot be solved through a single country's action, Korea has been tackling the issue on policy, industrial, and technological level that hopefully will inspire the rest of the world. On the policy level, Seoul Metropolitan Government has been implementing public bike renting system called Tarani, which literally means ring ring. Tarani is very affordable. It's 5,001 uh, per month, which is around four US dollar. Anyone can download the app, pay and rent bikes in Seoul. Rental stations are also conveniently placed near popular subway stations, school entrance, and so on. The number of electric buses are also drastically increasing in the city. We're seeing it a lot more often than we did before. Seoul is planning to provide 270,000 electric vehicles by 2025 for transportations, and other neighboring cities, such as Yangsan City, are currently following the trend. However, despite individuals' effort, unless multi-corporate companies take initiatives, it will be virtually impossible to stop global warming. And POSCO, world's steel giant, has been the front leader in eco-friendly steel production. Last year, POSCO announced they will apply CCU technology in steel production, which means that they're using carbon capture and utilization technology that could potentially eliminate 320 thousand tons of carbon emissions. The project is due by December 2023, and POSCO announced they intend to share this technology with the rest of the world once the project is completed. Korea is a big market for Starbucks, as the company has over a thousand stores all over Korea and established a brand of very strong customer loyalty. Starbucks has become one of the forerunners to reduce plastic waste when they started eliminating single-use plastic cups in the store last year, encouraging customers to use reusable cups when they can purchase and have it refunded once they finish their drinks. In fact, 12 Starbucks stores in Korea have already announced they will only serve in mug or reusable cups. Starbucks' big decision to go green can be seen as highly meaningful as it also encourages their competitors to do the same. And when talking about global warming, we cannot miss mentioning gas vehicles like cars, which take up an average of 29% of gas emissions that humans are creating. In last year's IAA mobility event in Germany, Hyundai, a South Korean multinational automotive manufacturer, has vowed to go carbon-free by 2045 uh, by producing electric vehicles. Specifically, Hyundai Motor aims to reduce its carbon emissions 75% below by 2040 and to gradually increase the sales of its zero emission vehicles in upcoming years. 
And last but not least, on a technological level, Korea University has implemented low carbon farming strategy, decreasing the use of agricultural materials to lower greenhouse gas emissions. They have also developed a sustainable biochar technology, a combination word of biomass and charcoal. Biochar is a stable, carbon-rich form of charcoal that is applied to soil to increase soil fertility, water holding capacity, and crop productivity in order to mitigate greenhouse gas emissions. So far, we discussed how Korea is dealing with issues in real world. Now, let's take a step into the virtual world that's ex expanding more than ever in Korea. Thank you, Ru, for the presentation. Now, I'd like to talk about the metaverse. Metaverse, a combination of meta, meaning beyond, and verse from universe, refers to a 3D virtual shared world where all activities can take place with the help of augmented and virtual reality services. Such platforms have grown in popularity over the past few years as people shifted their interest online, particularly amid the coronavirus pandemic. 2021 is called the first year of the meta universe. Since the outbreak of the new epidemic, more and more activities have been shifted online, which also made people's attention to the meta-universe unprecedented. Many companies have announced their entry into the meta-universe in 2021. Meta's all-in meta-universe and Microsoft also deploys the meta-universe. In addition to the corporate level, the government level also turned its, its attention to metaverse. The Seoul government has issued policies and formulated plans and announced that it will build the Seoul Metaverse platform within five years. In terms of Metaverse policies, South Korea is at the forefront of the world. Seoul has announced that it is planning on becoming the first city to enter Metaverse. According to its five-year Metaverse Seoul basic plan, Seoul plans on establishing Metaverse Seoul by the end of next year. It intends to create a virtual communication ecosystem for all areas of its municipal administration. This would include economic, cultural, tourism, education, and civil service. The South Korean capital has invested 3.9 billion Korean won into the project as part of the Seoul 2030 vision plan. It aims to make Seoul a city of coexistence, a global leader, a safe city, and a future emotional city. Then, how exactly is Korea planning on utilizing Metaverse Seoul? Basically, there are two steps, tourism and civic support services. This is a photo of Virtual Seoul, a new platform launched by the city government at a tourism event. This shows the augmented reality spaces that Seoul plans to create in its Metaverse. Beginning in 2023, the capital's representative festivals will be also held in the metaverse, allowing everyone to enjoy the festivals virtually no matter where they are. Second, Metaverse Seoul would gradually implement various civic support and corporate support services. In 2023, a virtual general civil service office called the Metaverse 120 Center will also be created, allowing citizens to conveniently, conveniently meet with avatar officials to deal with civil complaints and consultations. This photo from Seoul City Hall shows a Metaverse event on public safety held on September. Seoul becoming the first Metaverse city is a new step in the evolution of smart cities. This big leap could lead to overcoming restrictions in real world that are posed by temporal or spatial limitations and language barrier through the Metaverse platform developed with advanced technologies. Now, let's talk about how the entertainment industry is implementing the metaverse. In entertainment, augmented and virtual reality and AI have taken off in a big way during the pandemic. With numerous new ventures for K-pop companies, especially online concerts and virtual fan engagement events. In March, Blackpink's virtual avatars held a fan event in the avatar-based social media network and 46 million users attended the event to receive digital autographs from the group. The following month, SK Telecom launched its K-pop Metaverse project on its augmented reality app, Jump AR, which enabled fans to create their own music videos based on girl group Weekly's music and video dances. 
This is a short video of Weekly's Digital AR Dance by Jump AR. The combination of metaverse and the entertainment industry opens up unlimited possibilities. Metaverse not only provides unique and personalized experiences to its users, but also presents a new business model for other industries as well. The expansion of the metaverse will expand the value unlocked and potentially lead to a rapid expansion of the global economy. Metaverse has become the next natural progression for the way people interact digitally, and the possibilities are endless. Thank you, Taekyung. Through this presentation, we discussed how various fields of expertise are required to solve seemingly simple issues. From that note, we can learn that in the near future, it will be a crucial skill for leaders to cooperate with teams from completely different fields they've been working on. Korea has been creating innovative ways to solve ongoing issues, and we hope this presentation provided HCAP delegates with useful insights on new ways to approach a new world. Thank you. There is going to be more on the metaverse during this whole conference, so please look forward to it. Thank you for listening.